So we're on the um <coughs> we're on the second um installment of our uh video lecture of the topic Philippine Healthcare Delivery System and we are going to start a uh, continue no, with the structures of the um health sectors. So there are two major components of the health sector in the Philippines. We have the public sector and the private sector. So under public sector, there are two sub-levels, the national level and the local levels. And um, when you say public sector, this is usually tax-based. And um, when you say private sector, this is market-oriented, own packet of these private entities. And um, when you say national level, this is usually headed by the DOH or the Department of Health. And the whole level under the public sector are the different LGUs of the different uh, provinces and different municipalities and cities of the country. Okay? And when you say private sector, usually um, you know that the healthcare is uh, is uh, paid, okay? It's paid. Um, for again, for the public sector, it's already paid through taxes, okay? This is like prepaid using the taxes of the people. <clears throat> then, so let's uh, discuss the public sector first. We have the DOH and uh, in in pursuit no? uh, this is of in pursuit of the of the mandate that is um, tasked on the DOH uh, uh, they have their vision and mission and um, their mandate is to safeguard and promote health for all Filipinos and this is constitutional Okay, between nakasaad sa batas, okay, na sila yung lead agency, okay, lead government agency to safeguard and to promote health for all Filipinos. Okay, uh, it's the main governing uh, body of health services in the country. So going back to the vision mission, the vision of, of the Department of Health is uh, the Filipinos are among the healthiest people in the Southeast Asia by year 2022 okay so we have uh, two years left okay, to see if you're one of the healthiest people and on asia by year 2040 and the mission of the, the agency is to lead the country in the development of a people-centered resilient and equitable health system okay Siguro kung ako may dadagdag lang ako dyan is accountable, accountable, sorry, being account, accountable to your own health. Okay, so that's accountability. So what are the roles and functions of the Department of Health? Okay, so first role is leadership in health. Okay, leadership in health. So um, this is uh, going back to, ano lang pala, going back to... Uh, DOH as the lead agency, it is uh, mandated by the law Executive Order 102. Again, it's Executive Order 102. It identifies DOH as the National Health Authority in the Philippines. So going back to the roles and functions, there are three roles of the Department of Health. First of which is the leadership. They are the leader in health. Okay? And what are their functions as leaders in health? As a leader in health, one is leader in the formulation, monitoring, and evaluation of national health policies, plans, and programs. Okay, easy to understand. Uh, advocate. Okay, because when you advocate, you stand for the right of the of the patient, of the client, of the consumers, and um, they are advocates in the adoption of health policies plans and programs to address national and sectoral concerns or in whole is uh, to address the needs of the Filipinos. The national policy and regulatory institution on which members of the health sector and, uh, uh, anchor their trusts 
their principles, the directions, their goals, objectives on this national policy uh, being formulated by the Department of Health. And then second is administrator of specific services. Okay, so how do they uh, administer uh, specific services? One is they manage selected health facilities and hospitals, lalo na sa public, okay, uh, public sector. They administer direct services for emergent health concerns that require new complicated technologies. Okay, so for one and two usually for, for I mean for um, managing health facilities, they uh, usually cater big hospitals in the tertiary level um, and special uh, health facilities and uh, they are usually um, referral hospitals. They are usually training hospitals. They are usually base hospitals. And uh, here in in the province is we have CBMC uh, as uh, our um, uh, referral hospital, as our training hospital. That's why you have your IE list there, and uh, research hospital also, and. These are usually referral hospitals. They provide emergency health res uh, health response services. You see, these health response services are um, uh, being observed during the during times of um, calamities, catastrophes, public danger, epidemics, even pandemic. At uh, this time of uh, Corona. Um, virus okay then uh, what else okay and usually this um, uh, emergency health response is usually upon the direction of the president of the country okay but it's already uh, given since they are the legal mandate of the constitution then third capacity builder and enabler the functions under this is they ensure the highest achievable standards of quality healthcare. The the the, the phrase there is quality healthcare. Uh, so ensure quality healthcare from for promotion and protection of health. Innovate new strategies in health to improve the effectiveness of health programs. So when you say innovate, as yes, you are going to um uh, find ways, new ways, being creative. Um, new strategies on on how to um, deliver no? or even inform the public of the new, of the different health programs example kodito are the commercials that they are doing in social media and on television and other mass media uh, they're being creative they're being um, um, reachable uh, to the public okay and uh, they made themselves or the department uh, easy to to follow easy to understand uh, and that's one of their functions under the role uh, capacity builder and enabler they, they also initiate public discussions on health issues and disseminate policy research outputs uh, they do this um, example ngayon is the, are the vaccines against um, uh, COVID-19 and they oversee implementation, monitoring, and evaluation of national health plans, programs, and policies. So the DOJ uh, has their own core values okay, to guide them in their tasks, in their activities, in day-to-day -day work and every DOH um, uh, personnel should carry these core values. They should exemplify and manifest the value of integrity and excellence, compassion, respect for human dignity, commitment, uh, sa kanilang responsibility and duties, professionalism, teamwork, stewardship of health of the people. Okay? And um, DOH has its central office, as I mentioned, is in Manila. And uh, it has different, or even uh, to make it specific, regional uh, this is uh, health development offices 
uh, DOH attached agencies and DOH retained hospitals. As I mentioned, our retained hospital here or specific uh, DOH hospital is uh, CBMC. So, uh, just going back to this slide, I think that I, I place this in our LMS. Okay, the uh, central office is the DOH attached agencies. Okay, if not, you can uh, search this on the website of the Department of Health of the Philippines. Okay, then the DOH also has its goal, okay, which is to uh, reform you know, the health sector. So, in other words, it's HSRA or the Health Sector Reform Agenda. Okay, so uh, what reforms? Uh, what uh, reforms or uh, what are the reasons why these reforms should be implemented? Okay, first is slowing down in the reduction in the infant mortality rate and the maternal mortality rate. It means being in best of invest na buong bagal pagkakaroon ng infant mortality rate and uh, maternal mortality hindi yun nangyayari when you say infant mortality rate our uh, number of cases of infant dying within 12 months uh, before 1 year old namamatay siya maternal mortality rate is the death of the mothers of the women related to pregnancy whether it's antepartum uh or says, uh, hanggang postpartum, basta related to to pregnancy and delivery. Okay, that's paternal mortality rate. Uh, persistence of large variations in health status across population groups and geographic areas. And uh, high burden from, in from infectious diseases. And maybe I can um, uh, add here is um, response, no? A response to pandemic also and a rising burden from chronic and degenerative diseases so the madami kaso ng chronic and even degenerative diseases which you are have you have or you are going to study later on in your ms yeah? and these are also uh usually cited in fundamentals in health assessment Okay, and other uh, major subjects. Unattended emerging health risk from uh, environmental and work-related factors. So diseases that is work-related usually and environmental-related. Dalo ngayon, uh, sa panahon natin ngayon na nasa pandemya tayo, it's really work-related. We have known some, some personal, uh, whether they are nurses or other uh, types of healthcare providers na their lives are really at risk. Okay? Kahit nga walang pandemia. Okay? Uh, we are all exposed. We will uh, cater patients who somehow have infectious diseases and we might be afflicted with the disease. Okay? And the burden of disease is usually heaviest on the poor. Okay? Heaviest on the poor. So, ibig sabihin niyan, most of the cases, uh, health-related you know, problems, concerns are on the poor sectors of the country of the economy. Okay, so what are the areas needed to be reformed here? Uh, we have the local health systems, we have the hospitals, the programs, uh, health financing, and health regulation. Okay, which we are going to discuss uh, on the next slides. The reasons why the above conditions are still seen among the population can be explained by the following factors. One is inappropriate healthcare delivery system. Uh, hindi, hindi tama yung pag uh, provide ng, or yung proseso yung pag implement when it comes to healthcare delivery system inadequate regulatory mechanisms for health services and, and poor healthcare financing and an efficient sourcing or generation of funds for healthcare. Okay? 
and um, the following are usually the, the implications of the above situation. There is uh, poor coverage of public health and primary care services. Okay? There is inequitable access okay, to personal health care services. Ibig sabihin, hindi pantay-pantay or hindi tama yung, yung pagkakaroon nila ng health care services. So, um, you know that equality and equitability or equi being equitable is ano, are both different terms. Okay, hindi siya pareho. Uh, so, when you say uh, um, equality is you are going to give equal, equally no? uh, the services. So, ibig sabihin nun is kung ano bibigay mo kay letter A, yun din bibigay mo kay B, kay C. Okay? Uh, regardless sa pangangailangan. Okay? That is equality. But if you're going to give something based on the need of the people, that's your being um, equitable. Halimbawa, um, paano ba? Si A, B, C, no? Tapos merong, halimbawa lang, ha? meron halimbawa 30 pesos. When you say equal, no? bibigyan mo yan, dig to 10 pesos. Pero pag sinabi mo equitable, depende sa pangailangan ni A, ni B, tsaka ni C. Halimbawa, kailangan ni A ng 5 pesos lang. Ang kailangan ng isa is, uh, let's say, 15 pesos. And the rest, ang kailangan ni C. So, pag binigay mo yun, no, with basis sa needs, sa status ng, ng tao, that's equitable. Okay? That's being equitable. Yan. Then, third uh, implication of this one is there is low quality and high cost of both public and personal health care. Sa ito, no? Uh, low quality na nga, high cost pa. Okay? So, uh, these are the the things, the implications that need to be um, corrected. Okay? So, just uh, after that uh, health sector reform that the government wants, okay, nagkaroon ng framework on the implementation of this goal. And it was called Formula 1 for Health. Okay? And this Formula 1 for Health, it has four um, elements. The good governance, health financing, health regulation, and uh, health service delivery. Good governance means it uh, for, for, for the health sector reform agenda to be implemented, there should be enhancement of health system performance at all levels. Okay? Dapat ma-improve yung health system performance at all levels. Starting from the lowest level of a facility, starting from the simplest position of a person in that facility hanggang sa pinakamataas. So, dapat may improvement. Uh, then, second, health financing. Uh, it is fostering greater, better, and sustained investments in health. Okay, so pag sinabi mo health financing, it comes to with money, it comes with budget, it comes with expenses. Saan ba natin i-invest? Okay, tama ba yung investment ng isang bansa sa health? Okay, nasasayang lang. Uh -huh. Tama ba yung, 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 hindi lang investment, eh. even how the country uh, manages the resources, especially finances, when it comes to investments in health. In health regulation, ensure the quality and affordability of health goods and services. So it's easy to understand. Huh? Uh, the government wants to provide quality care. At the same time, it should be affordable for the people. Okay? Actually, ito is, uh, um, if I'm not mistaken, started pa noong time ni, if you remember, President Arroyo, itong uh, framework ng HSRA. Then, health service delivery to improve and ensure accessibility and availability of basic essential health care in both public and private facilities. And so, dapat, uh, just like in letter A, 
no there should be improvement in 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 the delivery of basic health services and subjan both not only public but even private facilities so um uh, this framework uh, intends to um uh, implement interventions directed to ensuring accessible and affordable quality healthcare okay especially okay? especially for the disadvantaged people meaning the vulnerable people the marginalized people the low income families or the poor okay para sa kanila yan. and the goal of the formula 1 no uh, being the framework of the main goal which is health sector reform um the formula 1 should lead to uh, a better health outcomes more responsive health system and uh, equitable health care financing okay equitable health care financing and how will this um, health care financing be um, achieved uh, so this is strengthened by the national health insurance program or nhip okay so this is the main lever to affect these are changes and outcomes of these four elements uh, when it comes to financing governance regulation and service delivery and this being uh, exemplified by the presence of uh, the philippine health insurance okay or phil health so uh the national objectives for health uh, under the DOH uh, serves as the roadmap for stakeholders in health and health-related sectors. Again, this is also included in your LMS. Okay, just expounding this one. Um, it sets the targets and critical indicators to guide policymakers and stakeholders. So it serves as a blueprint. Uh, it serves as a blueprint to uh, achieve uh, health for all Filipinos. Okay, it serves as a guide, okay? it serves as a blueprint, it serves as a plan. So, marami, marami siyang purpose you know, for the stakeholders and the policy makers. Saan ba talaga patungo dapat yung when it comes to health ng, ng Pilipinas. Okay? So, objectives for this one is to, number one, uh, improve the health status of the general population of the Philippines of the Filipinos. So how can we uh, say that there is improvement uh, as health status of population? One is there is improvement in the general health status of the population. There is reduction of mortality and morbidity. Uh, there is elimination of certain infectious diseases. Uh, there is promotion of healthy lifestyle and environmental uh, health then there should be protection of vulnerable groups so when you say vulnerable groups these are um, people who are considered to be having special health needs and nutritional needs the marginalized persons the more vulnerable groups like the the um, younger children the um, elderly uh, the pregnant women uh, the disabled ones, sila yung may mga special health needs and nutritional needs. And number two, ensure quality service delivery. Okay? This to um, ensure that from the word quality, dapat may quality yung goods and services na binibigay ng mga ng buong kabuuan ng health system. Dapat may quality yung natatanggap na servisyo at uh, mga sinasabi nga goods when it comes to health. Okay. So, um, there should be reforms. Sabi dito sa mga bullet dyan. No? There should be a strengthening of uh, local health systems and national health systems to ensure better health service delivery. Uh, there should be reform. Pagbabago, ibig sabihin na, there should be change, positive change in the public health and hospitals of the Philippines. There should be reduction in the cost and the expense uh, of um, quality essential drugs. Okay? 
sorry, number two. Number three, improve support system for the vulnerable and marginalized groups. So, dapat palakasin pa yung support para sa kanila. So, sa vulnerable groups we, and marginalized groups, usually we are uh, talking about the poor, uh, poorest family, uh, minorities in the in the community in the Philippines. So, um, for those who are vulnerable to have the diseases, sila yung binibigyan ng, ng, ng emphasis dito sa number three. Okay. Number four, implement proper resource management. Okay. Is to expand the coverage of social health insurance and mobilize more resources for health. Improve efficiency in the allocation, production, and utilization of resources. Okay. Then, so that is all about uh, DOH, or the National health, uh, national uh, Level for Healthcare Delivery System. And DOH. Now, uh, for, for the local government uh, level, or the local level, we have the LGUs. Uh, in the Philippines, when you say LGU, usually you are referring to LGU of a municipality or city and LGU of a province. Okay, so the local government units. Uh, we have a law here, a law uh, which is the RA or, or Republic Act 7160, otherwise known as Local Government Code of 1991, otherwise known as the Devolution Code. Okay, when you say devolution, and sabi nito, refers to the act by which the national government confers power and authority to the local government. Okay, so from the central office, DOH, senior niya po yung responsibility, yung authority sa mga local government units when it comes to health sa Pilipinas. Kaya pansin mo, uh, there are health programs being implemented by the by the provincial government in, in, in accordance to the uh, programs of the UH, meron mga policies na ini-implement ang uh, municipal level in accordance again to the Department of Health. Okay? Because the, the DOH national level have conferred this to them. Okay? Sabi dyan, devolution of powers, functions, and responsibilities to the local government. So, it's the responsibility no, to give priority to the health uh, of their constituents, uh, whether they are a municipality, a city, or a province. Uh, and the aim of this um, uh, devolution code, the aim of this local government unit, uh, is to um, build no, uh, capabilities uh, of um, communities to be um, uh, self-reliant communities. Okay, so kumbaga, the local government units they will have the the um, um, what's this responsibility for self governance. Na hindi sila hundred percent sa sa national level. Since binigyan na sila ng authority, binigyan na sila ng responsibility, na uh, binigyan sila ng function to give priority to the health of the citizen. As you can say that they have the capability of self-governance and they have the the value of uh, autonomy okay, and responsibility and to plan and implement basic health uh, services lalo na primary level okay? yung kaya lang ng municipality ng local government unit but this one usually depends on the cap the capability of a municipality it depends on the political will of the officials lalo na leader and um, uh, higher levels is really is um, uh, higher level of care is usually provided by secondary and tertiary hospitals na it's either public or uh, private hospitals Okay, so what are the objectives for local health system? This is to establish local health systems for effective and efficient uh, delivery of health services and uh, they uh, upgrade the healthcare management and services 
to promote inter LGU linkages, foster participation of private sector, NGOs, and communities. So, I uh, number four, uh, the the how says the LGU should uh, uh, consider no contributions from other agencies, other organizations like the NGOs, the private sector at lalo na yung contribution ng community in implementation of uh, if in implementation planning of uh, health services in a certain community then number five ensure the quality of health service delivery at the local level okay so ibig sabihin yan uh, lahat ng programa ng proyekto ng central office DOH should be um, should be itang ito uh, given no? to every municipality to every community of the country okay or to make it local of the province or of the municipality again in number five ensure the quality of health service delivery at the local level not only accessible but the word is quality health service delivery so I think this should be flashed earlier under DOH, but um, and, uh, ito yung organizational chart ng uh, DOH headed by the Secretary of the Department of course as, uh, appointed by the um, President of the Philippines. Then we have here composition of the local health boards. Uh, this local health boards are being um, tasked okay, on health of respectively the province and the municipality or city. And this the health board or the committee yeah, for the province, you have the governor as a chairperson, the provincial health officer as a vice chairman of, of the committee or of the board. Chairman of the Committee on Health of the Sangguniang Paniliwan, Lalawigan, or the board members. Uh, depend, regardless of the number, may isa dapat to the head of committee for health or, or in health. Then DOH representatives, NGO representatives. So my counterpart yan sa uh, municipal level or city level. So the chairperson under the municipal health board is the mayor, followed by the MHO or municipal health officer for vice chairman. Then, may isa sa kagawad, I mean, sa councillors niya, should be a chairman on the Committee on Health. Then, same, DOH and NGO representative. Okay, so this is the product of your RA7160 or your local government uh, code. Uh, this is to bring about genuine and meaningful uh, local autonomy. Ibig sabihin niba ng autonomy, sabihin mo siya ng kumbaga independence uh, uh, in in um, uh, implementing his power authority when it comes to health of its uh, citizen uh, so it enables the LGUs to attain their fullest development as a self-reliant community okay and uh, making them more effective partners in the attainment of national goals okay so napaka-important naman talaga yun eh na magsimula sa every community in a certain municipality in, tapos magiging province tapos magiging region hanggang sa buong Pilipinas okay so it is uh, nice that the national level um uh, was this uh, recognize no the contribution of this local government unit sa Actually, one of the reasons why this um, local government code or the devolution code was um, was uh, formulated uh, because of the physical uh, physical environment or composition or how will you describe it? No, ng Pilipinas na archipelago tayo, different islands at mahirapan talaga yung national level na iparating yan sa bawat isla na no? inhabited inhabi uh, what's this? inhabited na, na islands ng Pilipinas. So, kailangan nilang 
y, y share yung trabajo, yung duty, yung responsibilities sa bawat local government units. Okay? Uh, this is an organizational structure of the DOH and the LGU after the division code. So, um, a governor, the capital, no, the governor's office, uh, heads the provincial hospitals, the district hospitals, even municipal health office, and other related health facilities. Okay, and it's a provincial level. Municipal level naman, and office of the mayor heads the, um, through the leadership also of the MHO, heads the rural health units or the RHUs or the health centers. Na meron in some municipality or city and even those smaller barangay health stations. Okay, I hope you have your own barangay health station sa community ninyo. Okay, so... Um, Barangay health stations kasi are the periphery no? or the extensions of your uh, RHUs. Uh, RHUs, siyempre, isa yan per, or city health office, isa yan per municipality. Uh, at para nga, mas ma mapalapit, mas maging accessible sa ibang tao the, in the different barangays and different um, communities in a certain municipality. Naglalagay ng uh, barangay health stations respectively or individually okay so um, what else local health boards yung mga pinagitan na kanina what are their functions sabi dito they propose budgetary allocations operation and maintenance of health services advisory committee and create committees that shall advise local health agencies okay and siyempre they implement uh uh, programs, projects, according to the uh, national level. Interlocal health zone, this is actually uh, further explained your LMS. Okay? It is composed by the people, boundaries, health facilities, and health workers. Later, we are going to have uh, a simple discussion on this one. And so, that uh, and so our discussion the uh, um, local um, what's this? Uh, public sector of the um, healthcare system in the Philippines. And so again, the healthcare system in the Philippines is divided into two major components. One is the first one that we have discussed is the government sector, the public sector. And under the public sector, we have two sub-levels. One is the national, and the other one is the local. Okay? Which is usually further down, uh, broken into the municipal levels and the provincial levels. And, and for our next video uh, lecture, we are going to discuss uh, the second um, component of the uh, healthcare system in the Philippines, which is the private sector and the non-government organizations. Okay. Thank you and see you on the next uh, video uh, lecture. Bye.